recording. Hell yeah, we are. Uh, I was just telling Lucas about how I, I convened and created a fire ritual with several queer women last night. Mm-hmm. At a, at a Did you stand in a circle? And around, <laughs> yeah, we traded our uh, we traded our sacrificial lesbian, <laughs> sacrificial lesbian lamb. Yeah. yeah, the lamb is gay. The lamb had a bullet. <laughs> and if the lamb wasn't gay, it was when you were done with it. That's right. Yeah, it was like that lamb went to college. Am I right? <laughs> oh, that lamb was real progressive by the time we was done. <laughs> Should I take this character on? <laughs> <laughs> the idea of turning an animal gay is so funny. <laughs> By the time we was done with her, she was asking questions about gender theory. <laughs> and let me tell you, yeah. she wasn't like that before. <laughs> she was I, just a nice lamb from Virginia. Nice lamb. <laughs> a good Christian lamb. <laughs> When we were done with her, godless. A godless lamb. Welcome to Two Nosy Meerkats, where Welcome godless to lambs Meerkats. coexist. <laughs> I'm Lucas Arnold. <laughs> and I'm uh, uh, rena- and I'm renowned lesbian Gabby Jordan Brown. That's that's beautiful. I think it's really remarkable of me to um, technically be bisexual, but still be a renowned lesbian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's the top lesbian? In the world? Yeah, the worldwide top lesbian. I mean, I think in terms of like... The way people thirst for them, like maybe mm. Megan Rapino, but if you honestly look at the numbers of who is just the most well known, yes, it's probably Ellen. Yeah, I was hoping it wasn't going to be Ellen, but I had a horrible, I had a horrible thought in my mind. I was like, Gabby's going to bring up Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have That's a huge so crush you. on her. So, yeah. <laughs> what if that was true? <laughs> what if my celebrity crush in the world was Ellen? <laughs> Wait, was there um, not like a celebrity crush when you were a kid, but the first like a lesbian in media who you were aware of where you were like, oh. Oh, I, I was aware that Rosie O'Donnell was a lesbian, but it was just like talked. It was like. It's hard not to be aware. I was just like, oh, yeah. My, it's one of those things your parents explain. <laughs> you know, you're like, they're like, here's how to walk. <laughs> Rosie O'Donnell's a the lesbian. lesbian. <laughs> Oh, my I think it's interesting that we're going to have a whole generation now because we're a little older than some of our listeners. Who's and we're getting older. And we're, no, <laughs> I don't buy it. Where our, uh, their first maybe lesbian representation is like Jojo Siwa. Oh my God, you're right. Yeah, a lot of people the, know her. So many of the stereotypes of like what it is to be gay are so different from when we were kids. Yeah. I've never really thought about that until now. I've never, like when I was growing up, I wasn't like, lesbians are all like... Blonde ballerinas, like, or what does JoJo Siwa do? She sings, right? Or does she dance? D- d- didn't she do makeup tutorials on YouTube? We sound no, ancient. Did, she was on Dance Moms, <laughs> wasn't she? On, on, on like on Dance Moms, that's, that's yeah. The she origin. was the mom. <laughs> she was the. <laughs> she was a teen mom, <laughs> but like eleven. Yeah. <laughs> JoJo Siwa, child bride. <laughs> Not even child bride, but she's like, I gotta get my kids a soccer. <laughs> Oh, she's like a dyke mom. (laughs) And you said that. (laughs) Isn't it weird that Lucas said dyke just now? (laughs) Not the first time. Lucas said a slur. (laughs) How was your week? My week has been good. I made kimchi yesterday. Ooh, tell us about that. Well, I was uh, I was upstate and I picked a shit ton of ramps, which if you're not familiar, is like a wild kind of garlic. And I, I, got, I brought six giant Ziploc bags home and then I have a giant jar and I got all the ingredients. I got Asian pear. I Ooh. got uh, gochugaru, which is like a red pepper flakes. I got fish sauce. I got salt. I got sugar. I did everything and it smells gnarly and yeah, I'm ex- I believe you. I'm so excited so like I'm going out of town for a little bit for a reason I cannot say but I when I come back I'm gonna He's have going to jail for a week I'm just having a little taste test he's just experimenting <laughs> with jail <laughs> I went, to, yeah, I went to college. I never experimemented with my sexuality. So now I'm just going to experiment with jail. That's another thing you can experiment with. There's yeah, lots of things. There's you can lots of things to try. We like at one listener submission. We're like, you can try the acoustic guitar. <laughs> <laughs> you can try jail. We're like having a hard time with romance. Just go to jail. <laughs> just do a crime. Don't even do a crime. Just show up. Yeah, just be, be like, like I want to go in. Just be like, hey, can I stay? 
do you think our prison system is like so broken and so like designed to just curb the population that like if you volunteered to go to jail, they would just let you in? I don't know about that, but I absolutely, it was a thing in like, did you watch the Grapes of Wrath? Like the movie with Henry Fonda? I never watched it. I one time pretended to read the book and wrote a really bomb book report on it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> which you should not do. No, which, which we endorse. Um, but no, in the movie, there is a guy who like, I'm not sure if he commits like a minor crime or if he just volunteers as like, yes, I am guilty, even though he didn't do it. But he goes to jail just so he could get like shelter and food. Because, oh. like, it's, like, the Great Depression, and he, like, he does that just so he can, like, get covered. I think that's absolutely a thing people do. Maybe, yeah. like, committing crime just so you can, well, like, be in a recidivism. stable. Well, that's recidivism. I know words as well. With, mm. Recidivism is when um, a man and a woman love each other very much. <laughs> <laughs> recidivism is when people, like, go back to jail um, after, like, committing a crime because just, like, life in jail is... Ultimately, oh, a little yeah, yeah. easier. They're than... institutionalized. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen Shawshank. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you've seen it. I've have seen their work. Oh yeah, love what she does. <laughs> you've seen a. Uh, you've seen Saw. I've not seen Saw. Are I you? A, are you a horror movie? I don't know what this is about. Um, you. I thought you were going to ask if I was a whore. <laughs> I was like, not yet. <laughs> I already know. <laughs> I walked around with those group of lesbians being. They were like. How are you? Break up! Break up! Break up! Yeah. Anyone want to talk about it? <laughs> is that is that what you're like? Is that you doing an impression of you? Because I, I can teach you how to do an impression of you. I've done it many times. Oh, oh, I wish that your impression of me contained any words so that the listeners could hear it. Yeah. But it's all physical. Yeah, that's the thing is that words, they, they don't... They're unnecessary. They don't You're muddying me. the waters. Yeah, they don't describe me well. Yeah. Something I realized I don't know about you because someone asked me this and I realized I didn't have the answer. Do you have a favorite candy? Who asked you that? I won't say. Oh my God. Is it someone is it someone famous? <laughs> is it Some would say. <laughs> Some would say. Okay. What's your favorite candy? Oh my God. Well, this is a weird answer. I really like almond joys. Oh my god! Because I'm like 50. That's, yeah. No, I know. You just gave me kidney failure it's, listening to that. It's disappointing. It's That's sad. So sad. At my bat mitzvah, I had a full table full of only almond joy candies. How did? Okay, your friends that came, and please tell me you had friends come. <laughs> I had a lot of uh, Lucas. I don't want you to underestimate my bat mitzvah. That shit was lit. Really? Yeah. Oh, it was awesome. Yeah. What What was their reaction to the plate of almond joys? They were like. Free almond choice. I don't think they had another. I, I mean, maybe they were whispering in the corner, like, wish there was Kit Kat, but they certainly didn't tell me. <laughs> what would you have done? What would I? Oh, what would I have done? Yeah. Oh, I would have complained, dude. <laughs> <laughs> to the manager. No, I, I wouldn't actually have complained, but I, I definitely wouldn't have taken one. I probably would have taken one to try it and be like, what if this is the day that my taste buds change and I happen to like almond joys? I would have had mm. that thought and tried one and then be like, fuck. Ah. You know what they say about Lucas Arnold? Always needs to speak to the manager. <laughs> I've never once spoken to the manager. I believe that. Of course not. I've been You've never once way too scared to talk to a manager. I've never sent a dish back either. You've never gotten a need met in your life. <laughs> oh, and it's God. okay. It's okay. Uh, yeah. Was there a time you wanted to send a dish back? So many times! Oh my god, you So many thing. times, yeah. but I'm way too scared. They like give you pizza at a sushi restaurant, you're like, uh, I'll eat it. <laughs> at this point, I'm like, okay, this is impressive. Mm -hmm. I'm like, it's amazing you pulled this off. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Wait, do you want to play have, our sick little game? Let, let's, wait, first off, I want to ask, have you sent a dish back? Or asked for the manager? No, I've never done either of those. I don't know what efficacy it would take for... I don't, I don't know how, why it wouldn't be efficient to ask for the manager. Like it wouldn't ultimately, when something bad happens to you at a restaurant, it's because you like wanted something different because you're like dealing with something separate in your life and mm. you think that kind of sushi will fix it. Yeah. And you just have to reckon with the fact that like it won't, you know? Yeah. That's Wait. how I feel about that. <laughs> that, Yes. I just remembered one time where I sort of asked for the man. And like, this is what happened. So like, 
no, no, it's it's not it's not as bad as it sounds. It's not as bad as it sounds. Oh, but, you called the cops on that barbecue. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was me. I took the wig off. I'm like, it's Lukey. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was uh, I was in Washington D.C. last weekend for a wedding, which was a beautiful wedding, and I was staying at an Airbnb uh, run by a very sweet woman, but. In the bathroom, there were, like, these little bottles of, like, shampoo and conditioner. Just, like, little things that you could put out for a guest. But it was, like, three bottles, three little things just of conditioner. And there was no shampoo. So I said, hey, uh, do you have any shampoo that I could use? Let me know. I, I have, it was, like, the day that I arrived. And I was, like, I have no problem going out to a pharmacy and getting, like, some shampoo on my own. I just want to know if you have any. And she was like, oh, 100%, let me get some for you. And then she get, and then she gives me a handful of three more bottles of conditioner. Yeah. And then, the system. And then I was like, oh, thank you. And then I looked Fuck at them. Up. I was like, these are all still conditioner. And she was like, what? I was like, look at them. She was like, oh, sorry, I'll get my own bottle of shampoo. I was like, no, 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 you don't need to. And then like, and then she brought her own bottle of shampoo. I was like. Well, you didn't speak to the manager there. You spoke no. to a concierge, but you just, uh, you made her put her own shampoo on the line for I you. didn't make her. She volunteered it. You. I will have you know. Forced her at gunpoint. That's the thing you're not saying in this story. And those guns, I was there. Yeah. Lucas pulled out a literal gun on this woman. Wait, where did I pull it out of? Was it my sleeve? Was it my pants? What do we do? Both. <laughs> it was two guns. I had my sleeve in my pants and I was like, hey. Yeah, you had your that was the weirdest part. You had your sleeve in your pants. Yeah, yeah I had my hand in my pants. You I was like, were, hey, let's uh You were jerking off. With your sleeve in your pants. Jerking and off with a gun. With a gun. Dick in the barrel. <laughs> Dig in the barrel! Dig in the barrel! <laughs> and then you pulled out your gun, and then you pulled out your other gun, and the woman was but like... But not my penis. <laughs> <laughs> you said, I'll show that next if you don't get the shampoo. I'll show you some shampoo. <laughs> oh. And then awful. the concierge was like, you're being rude. And then you were like, you're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll never get my needs yeah. met again. No, never. So, let's play the game. Okay. This is called Text or Drink. Oh my! Okay. I mean, it, we're drinking like water and coffee because it's like ten yeah, a.m. Yeah, yeah. But but this game is I play this with my my sister and her partner and her partner's brother in Philly over the weekend, and it was some of the craziest adrenaline rushes I've ever had in my Ooh, life. Okay. Shout out to Liv, thank you for teaching me this game. <laughs> Shout out to Liv. Basically, you take out your phone. And you scroll to your, you go to your contacts. Okay. And then you hand your phone to me and I hand my phone to you. Oh my God. We scroll through the index just like one, two, three with our eyes closed. And then we just push a random contact, draft a text to that contact. And then the game is you either give the other person permission to send the text that they drafted or you have to drink. Oh my God. This is... This is evil. <laughs> I know. Isn't this fucking crazy? All right. Okay. 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 Here's my contacts. All right. Indexing. Three, two, one. All Pick right. a random contact. I have picked one. Yes. And now draft the text. Okay. Okay. This is really exciting. I know this is some dead space, but I promise this is really exciting. Oh, I love I love my text so much. So wait, when do I announce like do I announce like who the person is? Uh, yeah, who the person is and what the text is. Do, do I do it right now? Um, if you have it drafted, I have it drafted. You have you do? I do. Okay, tell. Uh, t wait, uh, let me draft mine. Um. <laughs> Okay, okay, you do yours first. Okay, my text is to Gabe Miller. Oh my God! Shout out to Gabe Miller. That's like my first ever boss. Whoa, okay. And my text just says, come over. Drink. <laughs> Drink for sure. Okay, mine is to someone named Fatima L. Baghir. Okay. Who is that? My cousin. Okay, um, this is in response to a text from April 2021 where she wrote, um, 
asking you to go to a gallery in Red Hook. Oh, okay. Um, my text reads, hey, is that gallery show still going on? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything to drink, but I kind of always want, I don't actually want you, but it would be kind of funny if you did. It will be. <laughs> Should you hit send? Yeah. Yeah, sure. If you want. Well, yeah. yeah. Okay. Amazing. Should we do one more? Yeah, sure. Okay. okay. Hold on. Hold on. Let me, um, let me get a new one. Okay. Hold on. Contacts. Okay. Doesn't this feel like Russian roulette? It's crazy. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay. I got another one. <laughs> I love this contact name. Okay, I'm drafting a text. Oh, I love this one so much. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm going buck wild with this. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> okay, so mine is to a contact named Kelly the Jungle. Oh, okay, okay. So, um, Kelly is someone I went to college with, uh, and I know her last name, but I saved her in my phone, so I remember because I stayed in her apartment, and their apartment was called the Jungle. Oh, okay. Well, this makes it funnier. I wrote, "The Jungle is a dangerous place. I wouldn't advise you go there without a big, strong guide." Oh no, you can't. You can't. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you drink, can't send that. Drink. Okay. Yeah. I. Um. Okay. And so mine is to Brian Rosenblatt. Oh, that's my friend. Okay. And. Um, <laughs> Uh, I wrote, uh, she rose in on my blood till I, Brian. Send, send, <laughs> send, send, send. That's All right. so good. <laughs> Isn't that a sick little game? It's a good. When you have. Wait, I, need to, I need to text my cousin to say, hey, sorry. My friend <laughs> stole my. <laughs> Wait, it's, it's really psycho that you let me send that actually. Hey, is that gallery show still going? Wait, I'm wait, can I I can undo the send right now? <laughs> no, don't do it. No, I won't. That's not the point of the game. That's no, not the no, no, no. I didn't I didn't unsend it. I let it I be. I've a texture drink has resulted in some fun things for me. I asked my high school ex to do mushrooms in the park. What was the response? They were like, sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you going to do it? Well, they were like, sounds great, but I live in Baltimore. Like, I should oh. add the caveat. But they were like, All right. maybe maybe soon. That is a, that is a great game, but it is, oh, that, oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, the idea is you, you just can't hit send by accident. Once yeah. you let go of the fear, then it's, it's, it's fine. <laughs> Please let me know what Brian responds with. <laughs> I think he'll be obsessed with that. <laughs> you think he's going to, like, print it out and frame it? <laughs> yeah, I hope so. I would 100% do that if someone did that for me. When uh, when I was at my sister's place, there was one person who was like someone's contact from like elementary school. And <laughs> damn, having an iPhone way back then, crazy. Crazy. Uh, they wrote uh, something like, um, hey, I'm right behind you. <laughs> and then the person was like, yeah, I give you permission to send that. And the person who received the text responded being like, what? I'm at home. <laughs> oh my God. So much of like, this is like what I, I, I like, I used to do that for like other people just like going through the phone being like, Hey, can I send this message just to be like insane? And I stole so much from, uh, You're quirky. I'm a little quirky, but, but I stole it from, um, Eric Andre and, uh, Hannibal Perez's Tinder takeover where they oh. took over each other's phones and sent messages on Tinder. And that was my favorite thing in the world. It's one of the funniest videos I've ever seen where they, the, the first message just says, come over. I want to pull up. I, Meredith sent me screenshots of when um, David Dobbins like took her hinge. <gasps> oh, oh, please. Oh, please, 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 please pull that up. I can imagine him being awesome at sending messages on hinge. <laughs> I think he'd be really fun. <laughs> Oh. Just read that aloud. <laughs> if you speak when you haven't been granted permission, you will be punished. Am I clear? <laughs> ah! Ah! Shout out to David Dobbins. Yes, ma'am. You mind doing that experiment over coffee or drinks anytime soon? Also, what would be that punishment? <laughs> <laughs> Piggies don't ask questions. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh he wrote that also works in meredith's voice <laughs> he, he wrote 
wrote on one person's I have it. No, it's I, the the spelling is I'm have a trash can full of chili with you with you name on it. <laughs> <laughs> I really oh, I, the one thing I'm excited for in singledom is to be like on hinge just messaging random women I'm killing Jim Halpert tonight <laughs> <laughs> that's so good <laughs> oh I have a trash can full of jelly with your name on it <laughs> it's such a good message <laughs> uh, no, wait another one from like the tinder takeover that, from that video that i absolutely loved was hey can you put both of your feet in my cabinets for an art project <laughs> so random that's so good it's so good those guys are incredible In oh my god <laughs> oh my god oh yeah I've, I've never been good at uh the wacky the truly wacky uh app message i've never i've always well, gotten I think genuine you're like a straight shooter and you want people to feel comfortable yeah and that's a good healthy but quality. now i want them to feel uncomfortable don't what's do a guy that to do? what's a guy to do i want to make women feel weird and i can't do it because i'm too nice and of i a can't guy. do it on my own i need help <laughs> <laughs> and that's where you come in sharks <laughs> <laughs> call this number on the bottom of your screen <laughs> let's make lucas make women feel weird <laughs> Hey yeah. I believe oh, yeah. in you. I believe I, I, you can, can make it happen. Yes, but can I tell you, I do get unhinged when I'm given someone else's uh, dating profile. I, I believe it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love getting someone else's dating profile. I can't profile. wait for you to take over. Because also, I guess. Oh, let me build it for you. I guess one of the things is like queer women have to be on Lex, which apparently is like the dregs of the earth. Like just a what it tell me about Lex because I've heard this before, but I don't know what it is. Oh, my God. Actually, it's kind of sad because Sylvia and I used to send each other screenshots of other people's like posting like this is my nightmare from Lex and being like, that looks crazy, huh? <laughs> Now, and now I, you're gonna be on. Now it. I guess we both have to do it. Oh. Now I'm one of you fuckers. Yeah. yeah. But so wait, wait what, what did talk about Lex? It's just a lot of like the those you know people who it's like, oh, do you want to get a coffee? And they're like, um, coffee? You mean like hegemony juice? You mean patriarchy juice? And I'm like, I just want to get a coffee. Um, so I, I I really I've never checked out so fast from something. <laughs> No, I know. Like life's life's more fun than that. Like it should be, right? Like I like we're walking around the the park. Yeah. <laughs> I I'm, no, just listening to that, I'm like, okay, I know so much more fun lesbians than that. I know. The lesbians I know are way we have good. The fun lesbians. We've got such a goofier bunch. And it sucks because I feel so platonically about all of them. I was talking to Meredith last night, and I was like. I, th I think she and she and I both agreed that our window to have ever hooked up is so gone because yeah. we're just bros now. Well, if you, well, I feel like if you bring it up like that, it sort of brings up kind of the possibility that you might be able to. If Meredith, Meredith is if watching, watching, I'm just saying she's available. You're available. Let's miss something. There's a little something you know happen. Saying? She did say something like, "I bet we could handshake and do it one time." <laughs> I was like, don't, don't do me like that. Oh my God, no. <laughs> that would, is it weird to say that your sex would be hilarious? No, it's not weird. But also every time I have sex, it's hilarious. My best bit. Yeah. <laughs> best bit. That's why I, it's like, I should go on stage and do it. <laughs> Imagine you'd just be like, you'd be getting naked, be like, oh my God, uh, clit vibes. <laughs> it's giving clit. Yesterday I was on a oh. podcast with two heterosexual men. Are yeah. you familiar with this breed? Uh, no. Tell me about it. Yeah. Tell me what they're like. Well, I, I told them, oh, oh uh, at one point the clitoris was mentioned, and it was sweet Eric Asker who goes, sorry, what's that? <laughs> and, and That's I good, said, yeah. Well, if, I mean, if you've never seen it, I, I imagine. It's like if a penis was afraid. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> a, I imagine you don't know how long it is. <laughs> You know, you got to always wrap it up when you're done with it. You got to wrap it around a ring, like like ribbon for wrapping oh presents. My God, like a fruit by the foot. I had a fruit by the foot again recently. And how was it? Oh, delicious. Beautiful. Pure sugar. I know. I, Disgusting. Oh, my God. They were, that was amazing. They were so good. I never got into gushers. Gushers are good. I don't like gushers. I don't like, I don't like things that gush in my mouth. 
Oh, you hear that, yeah. ladies? I'm just saying. If you gush in my mouth, I'll, I'll complain. Kill you. I'll <laughs> complain to the manager. I'll complain to the manager with a gun. Should we get into some of our topics for the week? Let's fucking do it. Because this is slightly different than listener Ooh, submissions. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. These are topics. And that and that I love. Um, and they're not anonymous. But we, I guess if something's actually sad, we'll make it anonymous. <laughs> Olivia Senna, former Meerkats guest, wants us to talk about the Megan and Harry paparazzi car chase. Oh, my God. That... that w- I think she was the one who actually texted it to me saying this just happened. And I was like, what the fuck? I, it made me want to like find the paparazzi and like drive his face into a wall. Yeah. I want, I, it made me feel so violent. Yeah. How did you feel when you saw that? I was like, Charles, pick another tack. Yeah. This is so hack. This is, this is, you've done this before and everyone was catching on then. I don't know why you thought you could do it again. I I, yeah. I just am sus of all of it. I think that like they're they're trying to kill them. These gays. Yeah. <laughs> I, they're out of control. They're trying to they're kill They're out of me. control. Oh, you never watched White Lotus. Great show. Oh. Uh, Jennifer Coolidge at one point goes, These gays, gays. they're trying to murder me. Oh. Great okay. line. I'm so behind on all the HBO shit. I really am. Yeah, you gotta watch Succession. All I that do. Stuff. Yeah. I, the last thing I saw was uh, House of the Dragon. I'm so behind. But you won't even have time because Selling Sunset's coming out like <gasps> next month. It is. It's coming back next yeah, month. Yeah, it's coming back. And oh like, God. I think G Flip might be on like an episode or two. Oh my God. Yeah. This is exciting. I'm so- you remember when she liked, oh, excuse me, they, they liked my comment? Yes! Oh my, we still have to like get either of them on. Oh my God. Dream I know Christine is the top priority, but I mean, I really want Chriselle and G. They oh. Georgia Flippo. That's Georgia their real Flippo. name. Did you know that? Oh yeah. I remember when we, I think I was there when we found it out together <laughs> that their name was Georgia Flippo. I was like, be serious. It can't be. That's not right. I guess if you're Georgia Flippo, I'd be G Flip too. Yeah. Yeah. Very sweet. What, what can you do? <laughs> oh my god! Um, so I guess all of this to say. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But all of this to say, uh, Megan and Harry, uh, <laughs> keep shining. Yeah, come on the pod. Come on the pod. <laughs> <laughs> That'll fix it. Just come on the pod. <laughs> we'll solve your problems. Um, yeah. You got uh, one? Oh, another one is. Uh, this is from Kevin Mulheron, being the only single sibling on family vacation. In parentheses, suicidal. Yeah. Oh my god. Um. That's like break what? break all of them up. Oh. Steal their significant others. <gasps> oh, that's exciting. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I believe he has two older sisters, so he's he's gonna have he's gonna walk away from the family vacation with two new husbands. Baby. Yeah, you gotta go gay or go home. That's go what I'm get saying. Get all the husbands, big dog. Yeah. Yeah. I I think it'll be fun a uh, fun challenge for him get get in touch with his feminine side oh yeah uh, so some or Discord or why division. would you why would you say that uh, having husbands isn't necessarily is a, a feminine thing because I know that the way Kevin's gonna do it <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a little fruity it's gonna, be- <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be fem as hell yeah I have um I'm trying to think like have I ever gone on like a family outing where I was the o- I don't think where I was the only single person never no I mean I feel like I don't know I I would have a hard time speaking to this I it's my first time being single in like a while I feel I always thought being single was cool yeah because everyone else was single I was like yeah, you, you might meet someone on the vacation yeah could easily happen yeah it would be funny if his parents were like <clears throat> yeah we're not gonna bring you this time because like Kind of a vibe killer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone's picking up on your single energy, bro. It's gonna it's gonna infect us. We don't want that. I think there's something to be said for like the neuroticism of our culture that like every time someone goes somewhere single, like you go to a wedding single or you go on a family vacation single, the idea is that everyone's gonna come up to you and be like, You failed. You're a loser. You mm. have nothing is so stupid because like that just means they didn't settle i guess yeah no like for something that was worse than what i i don't know i don't know i've always i've always taken issue with that people being like yeah oh like i feel like the single people are always self-conscious about it but no one's ever actually i would hope in a corner like oh that weirdo is single yeah also uh, going off of that like on like 
I'm watching like all the matchmaking shows on Netflix, like yeah. Indian matchmaking, Jewish match. And they're like, there are people that are like, oh my God, your longest relationship isn't, you've never been in a relationship longer than like a year or so. And like, I understand a little bit why you would hope someone has in their past, like a long relationship. But what if they're just really good at telling when a person isn't the right person? Yeah. I'm like, that's a really good skill. Yeah, that's good to have. That's a very important skill. And, and like, not like just being oblivious to your own emotions or your partner's emotions. Like that's that, that, that kind of a green flag. It's also like, a, it's like um, when people are trying to get a job with no previous experience and mm. they're like, how am I going to get experience with no experience? So if you're like disqualifying, <clears throat> excuse me, someone for like never having been in a long relationship, how are they going to be in a long relationship? You got to bite the bullet for them. Yeah. Always do things for others at the expense of yourself. Hey, and that's what we're doing. But, but also, like, if, you, if you're if you dating someone who's never been in, like, that long of a relationship, hey, this may be manipulative as to say, but you can sort of mold them into the kind of relationship you want. Kind of a thing you can do. <laughs> okay, freak. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. I can't endorse that. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean you have to elaborate? <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Lucas is like, listen, if they don't know any better, you lie. You, you can cheat, gaslight you them into, what, gaslight. into what a healthy relationship is like, is what I'm saying. You're Isn't that nice? You're gaslighting them, but it's for their own good. Exactly. End, now you're their, getting yeah, now it. Now I get it. I understand. Yeah. Always gaslight for the good of the community. <laughs> That's my that's my takeaway from this trending topic. No, yeah, it's normal for me to have time with my friends, but for you to not have any time with yours. That's what's normal. Yeah. 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 See, you get it. I do. You see, you thought you had an issue. There was no issue. None. Okay. <laughs> um, um Andrew Barlow just wrote Chipotle. Do you have Pro. A, yeah, I'm pro. I I like a burrito bowl. Yeah, I love a burrito. Yeah. I like a I like a I knew we had nothing in common. <laughs> Yeah, what do we even talk about here? Yeah, I, I prefer the burrito because I like that it's, um, I like having something that's warm and handheld. <sighs> Lucas likes eating babies. <laughs> is what I'm, is what I'm gleaning from you. And that's true. <laughs> I'm imagining, I'm like, where, <laughs> where would I start? Where would where, you start? Where, if where you were you eating stop? a baby, where, <laughs> um, <laughs> this is what happens when we record at like 10 a.m. <laughs> it is very early. No, where would you start if you were eating, if you had to eat a baby with what what end? <laughs> I would call the uh, ASPCA or whatever organization. The it animal is. organization? <laughs> Wait, no, I call got the it. ASPCA. This fucking, this little fucking, fucking. I meant the that's not, that's slightly better. The American Civil Liberties Union. Oh my God. Yeah, no, I'd call this the This is animal. a workplace issue. I'd call the animal. Yeah. <laughs> I'd call both of them. I'd call both of them and let them, and let them uh, cross check each other. I'd call the animal rights organization and be like, I am being made to eat this baby. It's your problem now. You guys talk you about guys it. You guys talk about it. I'm going to be here and I'm going to put off eating this baby for as long as I can because they're going to make me do it. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to make me do it. I don't want to oh. eat a baby. They're so, oh, they're so cute. With their no. Cute. What is that thing though of when like women get together around a baby and they'll be like, oh my God, I could just eat you up. Nom, 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 nom. I'm like, I would never do that. I know. I would never say that about about a, about a friend. There is something like rabid that happens when women get together around a baby. I met like another female comic for the first time last night. Mm. Yeah, I had never met another female comic <laughs> before. <laughs> and you won't do it <laughs> and again. And I won't do it again. And it was unpleasant. That's your quota for the month. <laughs> yeah, thank yeah. God. But she, she and I saw this like guy walk by with a baby. We were talking to Eric. Mm. We're just like talking amongst ourselves, talking normally in this cadence. She and I both whip our heads around. We see this baby. We go, oh, you, 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 yeah. you, you, you. Eric's like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> <laughs> there, There is something that happens when I see the baby yeah. cheeks. I want to squeeze the cheeks. Yeah. What is it about like wanting to squeeze them? I've heard, but specifically I've heard so many just like say, I want to like bite them or like eat them. It's always like, it's always that. Yeah. It's always something chompy. And I don't get that. Because mm. when I, I, hey, this is crazy to say, but when I see a baby, I think maybe I would want to hold it. 
maybe like play with it, do like a little funny voice. I never think I want to munch it or take a chomp. Well, I also have a bigger appetite than you. <laughs> I like protein. Oh, we're going there. I like protein. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a weight issue. Okay. <laughs> body shaming Luke. We're body shaming me. <laughs> You're just a you're a hel- you're a healthy boy. You'd prefer a vegetable to a baby. I want to eat a baby. <laughs> I can't believe I can't believe I'm agreeing with you, but yes, I prefer a vegetable to a baby in terms of the of the snacks. We talked about yeah. eating babies our very first episode. Do you did remember? We? Oh my god, we did. Literally the first episode we did on Zoom. We back when our podcast was a baby. <gasps> oh, now we're eating our podcast now alive we're eating in our front podcast of the listeners. Alive. Yeah. Love Can you that. believe this all started from Chipotle? Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah Chipotle is good, man. <laughs> what do you order at Chipotle? What's your go-to? Ooh, I get yeah, I get a bowl with um, yeah, white rice, black beans. Usually, steak. I know how you love. <laughs> Before you said black beans, I was like, I know how you love everything white. <laughs> oh, not everything. Beans. Beans. <laughs> yeah. No, go on, go on. So what's what uh, else? Do you uh, we like steak, like yeah. a little. Uh, like a little corn. Ooh, okay. We're just going through the menu here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, just a big old bowl of everything. Nice. Except peppers. I've never been able to deal with cooked mm. peppers. Cooked pepper? Oh, I love the cooked peppers. Ugh, I hate r- cooked red peppers. Like why, why do you like them? Because I'm racist. Nice. <laughs> Um, you don't even want to know what my order is? Wow. Miss Andre. Wait, okay, what's your order? <laughs> um... Oh my god! Wait, what's your order? Uh, my order is um, so I don't care. Um, <laughs> no, my um, my order is okay. I go for a burrito. I go for uh, brown rice, black beans. Uh, more often than not, I'll go sofritas because I try to go meat free if I if I can. Oh, I is that recent? Go, no, it's it's for the past like good few years that I generally if I really have a hankering I choose to honor it if I really think I I really want meat I will go for it but if I if I'm on the fence or I'm like oh I don't really care then I will always go I'll try to go meatless um nice I do get cheese and sour cream I'm not being a weirdo yeah but um I was going vegan for like a couple of months before like the quarantine mm -hmm. and then I stopped I was like ordering jerky on Amazon stuff because I I I got in the jerky as well the jerky's good I love jerky good yeah Yeah. but um oh no uh, but to finish it off um oh if I'm adventurous I'll get barbacoa I love barbacoa barbacoa's burrito amazing and then I'll go for um pico de gallo sour cream cheese guac and lettuce yeah, cheese guac and lettuce. That's a yeah. god tier combo. It is. Okay, Samantha Prosser says leash kids pros and cons. Mm, yes. Leash kids pros and cons. Um it I think it depends where you are first and foremost. Like if you're a Like dis- in your life? Yeah. Do you have a master's degree? <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you making seven streams of income? Like let's be real. Yeah. Go um, on. No, but like if you're someplace like maybe Disneyland, which is like a very frenetic environment, I would say maybe if you re- if you really don't trust your kid to not to like not get lost, then maybe just be like I'm just I'm going to take this L for my child's mental health and in, in favor of its fa- physical safety, like I kind of get that. Yeah. I have a controversial opinion which what is What do you that- think? I think kids on leashes are cute. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I think it's really cute. Um, and I like when they all are walking in a big line and they're all holding the little rope. Have you ever seen that? I have seen that. Come I think that's on, very cute. They're holding like the a whole rope. class and they're holding on to the rope. I just want to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> At what age do you stop wanting to eat them? Oh, it's a lifelong hobby. Don't don't you call PETA on me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> We're just naming organizations. <laughs> don't you call Greenpeace, okay? Uh, I'm trying to think. Of, don't call the EPA on me. <laughs> can you even don't call con- the Centers for Disease Control Wait, on me? Can you even contact the EPA? Should I look for a number? Info at EPA.com. Hi. <laughs> Just what? wanted to chat. EPA yeah. phone number. I no, I want to call them. I want to like talk to mm. a person. Um, how do I contact my local? No, I don't want the local EPA. I want literally like the U.S. EPA. Okay, there's an asbestos hotline. 
There's an assessment cleanup and redevelopment exchange system. There's a drinking water hotline. Oh, Oof. I read that wrong. <laughs> He meant for potable water. He didn't mean like, <laughs> no, Lucas, don't leave. <laughs> no, don't go. Don't go. I know you've hitched your wagon to this person creatively. <laughs> and she just said there's a drinking water hotline. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Update second glass of the day. <laughs> Just wanted to keep you updated, selfie. Wait, should we call them and tell them we're just like drinking water? Okay. Oh my god. We're, we're calling them right now. Do you think we're gonna get a person? I hope I so hope so. Oh my god. It's eleven eleven, make a wish. Damn it. Your local enforcement. You can also call the National Response Center at 1 800 424 8802. For all other questions, please visit epa.gov/safe. Right. Wait, water. can we leave a voicemail? Or you can send a question using our online form. No, I don't think so. EPA. EPA will respond to you via email, or if you no. have a phone number, we'll call you as soon as possible. All right. Yeah. Fuck. <clears throat> Imagine if she left a voicemail being like, hey. Drank some water today. <laughs> Just wanted to let you know. Thinking about you. We have one of those uh, bottles that's like, you're almost there. You're doing so good. <laughs> I think I think the EPA honestly might sell those. They might. They might have merch. Oh, there's, um, I, I misread this one as well. It's um, Lead Information Center Hotline, but I read it as Lead Information Center. Yeah, uh, that's classic. Oil Cannot. Information Center, Pesticides Hotline. What's better, grapeseed or canola? <laughs> there's a there's a radon hotline. Oh, you can te you can purchase test kits for radon. Oh, um, do you like radon? I have. What could I What could I love more? I can't get a radon this girl right here. <laughs> now I'm leaving. <laughs> um, uh, okay. What else? Okay. What else? Ooh. What Glee characters besides Mr. Besides Mr. Schuster should be in prison? Ooh. I have never seen a single episode of yeah, Glee, we were so gonna make I will Lucas say all of them. That's true. All of them should be in jail. Except Jane Lynch. Love Jane Lynch. Oh, my God. Well, all the teachers, honestly, on that show yeah. should be in jail. They have no boundaries with the students. Um, I think, um, well, obviously, the character of Puck was an actual, like, child molester in real life, so... He went to jail, and um, well, I mean, they were just a bunch of thirty-year-old kids having fun. You know? <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely. They're Mr. basically babies. Mr. Schuster, all of the adults, <clears throat> and um, I think maybe uh, maybe Finn. Okay. He was a real dick on the show. He like outed Santana and stuff because he was mad at her. Yeah, the Cory Monteith character. Was Santana. Like, I don't know who that is. Oh, that's Naya, That's hot Naya Rivera who died. I thought Santana was someone who was on American Idol. That's Sanjaya. Oh. I love Sanjaya, though. Sanjaya should be in jail. Sanjaya should be here. Sanjaya should be on this podcast. Let's reach out. I would do anything for Sanjaya to get on this pod. I wouldn't. I don't know who it is. <laughs> I still don't. Yeah. He's the guy who was like kept in the American Idol voting, even though he was terrible because there was a hotline that sprung up called voteforthewurst.com. And so he just like kept getting votes. Oh, yeah. Guy. I mean, he seems to be doing fine now. Selling, selling arenas, selling records. Is oh, certainly it? not. Oh, okay. but just being spoken about on podcasts, <laughs> which is as good. Still, just as good. Here, I've got one for you, Belton. Asks, oh yes. Where's the best place in New York City to cry in public? <laughs> we should do this every week. This We're getting podcast. good questions. This podcast, baby. Okay, best place to cry in public. Um. Front row of a th of a Broadway theater. Ooh, say more. I think that 
everyone who would be able to witness that, who would be able to perceive that, would think that they were somehow responsible or witness to something really emotional and they would take it in no way how you actually intended it. <laughs> I think that whoever is on stage would be like, okay, I am crushing. And everyone else who's watching would be like, oh my God, they're so into shucked. <laughs> <laughs> on my study abroad trip there was this one girl who cried at every single play even plays that were not dramas she cried at the end of the importance of being earnest like nice. she sobbed for uh, we, i think she kind of thought she was in a movie yeah which i, I kind of loved nice. and by the end she was a fully american girl but by the end she had like a fake british accent <laughs> It's pretty amazing, actually. I love it when they do that. What's another? So quirky. So quirky. Yeah, what, what, what is another place that you would recommend uh, crying in public in this great city of ours? Oh, I'm trying to get creative with it. Because, like, obvious answers are, like, small park. No one's going to bother you. No, big, big park. park. Big, big park. Big park. <laughs> Lucas likes his parks big. I do. Why? I'm a size queen when it comes to parks. Yeah. that's. <laughs> I just do that for 45 minutes. Yeah, all length, no width. I want I want a long stroll. I like a girthy park. Yeah, you like a girthy park? Yeah, I'm a girth, <laughs> girthy park girl. <laughs> Let's see. Where's a good yeah. place to cry in public? It, um, yeah, um, I think generally if you, you can cry in public anywhere in New York if you put your phone close to your face oh. and act like you're on a phone call. Yes, that is that is genius. That's my actual answer because that's the answer I've done a lot. And I've actually had people come up to me and been like, I wanted to say hi to you, but you looked like you were on a really serious phone call getting some bad news. I was just crying in public. <laughs> but just like having the phone up just for subterfuge? Just for, yeah, yeah just yeah. to be like, uh, someone's giving me the worst news of my life, but it's my own brain. That's very, yeah, it's a very good idea. You also gave me the idea of like rehearsing bits in the great outdoors while on your phone. Yeah, you or can like do just a, miming it. Yeah. You can do a lot. Yeah, or I'll, I'll have my AirPods in. I'll just be like talking to myself, like doing my, running my set. That's great. Yeah. I've never done that. I've just like, I've just like mouthed it if I was, if I know that I'm alone on a street. I'm very good at finding an empty street. Yeah. Woof. Ladies, be careful. Oh. <laughs> and I announced that to the public. <laughs> I honestly no, yeah. think crying on the subway is, you can cry on the subway. Mm. No one will bother you if you cry on the subway. I think it's yeah. quite therapeutic. I've never, ooh, have you cried on the subway? I have been doing it every day this week. <laughs> yep. <laughs> A lot. Cried on the subway oh, today. Yeah. Cried on the subway yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, it's been, well, it's because I'll listen to music and I'm like, she liked music. <laughs> I'm doing really well, guys. It's fine. I'm doing great. I'm doing good. You can cry right here right now if you want. <laughs> this is crying in she private. She likes podcasts too. No, she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, she didn't. She's not going to listen to this. <laughs> She's never going to listen to a podcast again. <laughs> like, she hated podcasts. She was like, it feels, she, her words were, it feels like listening to a voicemail. Oh, she's funny. Wow. She, you know, she was funny that way. Yeah, but I like listening to voicemails. Do you? Yeah, it's fun. Should I start leaving you voicemails? Oh, absolutely. Okay, I'm going to start leaving you voicemails. Well, you also can just send voice notes, which is the exact same thing. Oh, I mean, we already do that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's, it's, it's exactly the same thing. That's hack. Oh, someone wrote in Ooh. Catholic priests beating up nuns. You mean my kink? What the? <laughs> yeah, that's my search history, baby. Mm. Is Catholic this a is this a thing? Is this like a, I'm gonna a, a search porn for genre? It. What the f like, what is this? Catholic priest, be or is this someone just being a troll? I'm wondering if that might be what it is. Um, I take everyone all the time at face value. <laughs> hey, I do too, to a fault. So, and so I'm trying to use my brain a little bit. Oh my God. No. Okay. So I just Googled this. Oh my God. Is this There's an article. <laughs> That I shouldn't laugh because it's not funny. But cry instead. There's an art. I'm gonna cry later. There's an article from 2019. After years of abuse by priests, nuns too are speaking out. <laughs> the nuns too movement. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> oh. That is. I'm sorry. There is something about the phrasing that is funny. What are you finding? Oh my God. The nuns do horror. I'm putting this way. Nuns do horrible things sometimes. I mean, oh, you know, I had a phobia of nuns. 
Did you when really? I was a kid? Yeah, because I saw the Blues Brothers and she had that ruler and she used it. And I was like, oh, oh if that's oh, th I was like, if they don't like them, they're not going to like me. I have that joke about my my mom telling me that I was a nun in a past life. And it, it sh the basically she told me I was a nun and that she ran a convent, but I wanted to run away and lead a normal life. And I had Sound to tell her that that is the plot of The Sound of Music. Yeah. But the, then she clarified to me that it was because when I was like four, I mm -hmm. watched The Sound of Music and um, the nuns, I guess, like kissed the floor. Mm. Um, and I just, And you're like, oh, so me. No, I did the opposite. I looked at her and I went, I would never want to kiss the floor. Which like, why did I think that was about me? You know? <laughs> You keep inserting yourself into situations. Yeah. You do. I'm all about situations. <laughs> it's the most non-sentence of all time. Listen, uh. I'm all about circumstances. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, can I tell you my favorite, one of my favorite quotes ever was uh, Action Bronson on a podcast. And he was asked, uh, wh where did you get the name Action from? And he said, I'm known for doing things. <laughs> Just the best answer of all time. How is this a cookbook? Oh, it's so good. Yeah. He gives you like pairings of like, this is a good cereal to eat when you're high. It's like, it's so, oh, it's that's like, nice. it's such a, it's such a good book. It's so him. You can tell it was like, it, it's, it's, it, it's just purely exactly what you hope it is. That's like, it's so good. Can I tell you though? I did have an experience meeting nuns because my first girlfriend, uh, was a nun had a uh, two aunts who were nuns and uh they were very very sweet very very lovely ladies and uh, i learned that apparently like most if not all nuns are lesbians oh i believe that yeah why else do you go in the field it was like oh yeah they're just they're all lesbians we know this should i become a nun go for it okay go just for, for it. like a day yeah <laughs> <laughs> just for yeah like like jail just be like hey can i stay here just it's um you know how the they say like um with a certain like experimentations in college it's like comes great uh, responsibility <laughs> that's that's what the comic books say right go on guard experimentation in college uh what do they say straight until graduation or some or like gay until graduation i can't remember what it is okay yeah but it's like with um i've lost the thread a little bit actually but with nuns it's like you're you're like you're <laughs> i'm having a stroke <laughs> I can't remember what it was. With like. nuns, you're like gay. <laughs> I got so horny thing about nuns. <laughs> I just my brain shut off. Do you have anything on your mind right now or no? <laughs> so, I, honestly, do you know what is on my mind? I keep thinking about this one trailer I saw for a movie about gay nuns, and okay. they were kind of like fingering each other on the bus. <laughs> But it has to be like a secret because God is watching and stuff. So they're like doing it like under their spot, their, um, what, what do you call it? Smocks. Oh, their wimples? Is that what it's called? I think the, the, hang, the thing on the head is called a wimple, I think. But what's the thing on your body that like hides you from the world? <laughs> your boundaries? <laughs> <laughs> a garment. Under their garment, they're, yeah. they're like on oh, the yeah, bus okay. together and they like, oh no, it's not a movie. It's an episode of the L word. <laughs> It's a cold open episode of the L word where they do that. If you're curious what being gay and having ADHD is like, this is exhibit A right here. This is really, I'm really breaking down today. <laughs> I'm really broken at yeah. the seams. I haven't eaten yet. So my brain is also just like, as like, so like, I just want oh. you to know you're in good company. I do think I need to get going because I, I just got a text that my driver is going to be here in like a few minutes. Okay. Should at, we do uh, one more? Let's do one more. Oh yes. Oh, um, so What's oh this is a good question. What's your favorite dinosaur slash which dinosaur would you most want to have sex with? Great question. All of them. Yeah. At once. All of them equally? Yeah. Um <laughs> <laughs> I was I have I have a, I have an answer. Uh Stegosaurus just for the story. <laughs> just to say you did. I'd <laughs> I'd let a T-Rex finger me. Because I'd want it to have a win. <laughs> you wanted to use its hands once. Yeah, I mean, everyone makes fun of it for its dumb little hands. What if it's the best at fingering anything's <laughs> ever been? What if they're, like, really nimble and dexterous? You don't know. Yeah, I, I believe it. 
Okay. <laughs> well, that's the We pod. just answered the question perfectly. We answered the question. Thank no you. frills, just pure facts. Thank you all for writing in. Thank you all very much. Thank you to Stand Up New York. Thank, Thank you, you to, to Haley, Haley. Uh, for putting up with us this morning. Yeah. Um, we've been two news in Meerkats. Lucas, do you have anything to say about the state of the world right now? Um, stop chasing Megan and Harry. Let them drive in peace. <laughs> Love I'm, a, I'm an earnest, somber person, all right? And we we're at two, at two nosy meerkats. We're all about the message. I love the idea that our listeners are the ones chasing <laughs> Megan and Harry around. Hey, in the hey, stop doing stop that! Stop it! Stop it! You're being very naughty. You're being very bad. Sit in the corner. We have to. You be know like what you did? Trump at the January sixth. Okay, you can all go home now. <laughs> you can all go home now. It's okay. Stop doing that. Stop. Ch- stop we it. We don't hey, like it. Hey. Look, mommy and daddy are mad at you. Yeah. We're mad at you. We don't like it. I wonder who the most right-wing person of our fandom is. Probably me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's end with that. Thank you very much for watching and listening. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Thank you.